Good morning. So I've done breaking a hundred with just a four iron, nothing bigger than a four iron. Great thing about using a four iron like that is the fairway is incredibly wide. There's no pressure, there's no stress, and there's no lost balls either. So breaking 90, 17 over par. The back nine here at the Herefordshire is a par 36. So I get eight shots, I've got to do it in 44 or less. And a four iron is never going to be big enough. So I've got to put some woods in the bag, just like I did back in the day, back in 89, the end of 89, beginning of 1990, I put the woods back in. Now back then, the driver was 150 cc's, 41 and a half inch steel shaft, and I hit it about 220 on dry, firm fairways. So the best way I can kind of like simulate that right now on soft fairways is probably my three wood. I bet I don't get my three wood on flat level fairway more than 220. So let's go and do that. But the aim is just the same. I need to avoid risks. I need to get this to the 18th green from here not lose the thing and rack up penalty shots. This is how we improve our score the quickest, is no penalty shots, no lost balls. Well, if you saw me play the front nine last week, you will know that I am struggling. I've played so little and practiced so little. I'm not aiming the correct way and the curse of my bad takeaway has come back to bite me with a vengeance. But the principle, oh dear, the principle is the same as breaking a hundred. And that is, keep this ball in play. Get it round the course without racking up penalty shots. And hopefully the short game will help us out in finding those few pars we need in order to break 90. It's not going to be easy. In fact, this is a huge, huge struggle for me. Three wood down the hill. I seem to be aiming a bit better. And that's a better shot. Now the flag today is right at the back. I don't have a golf watch. The battery has gone flat. I don't have a laser as the battery has gone flat, so I'm guessing a bit here. But one of the keys is not taking on a back flag. If you go over, the back of the green generally has more trouble than the front. And so we just leave ourselves a simple chip and putt. And try not to forget to smell the flowers along the way. Didn't get it to the hole, but this is what happens. We've had a lot of heavy rain. The greens are soft, so it's difficult to get the ball to the hole. Plus it's bumpy from all the footprints. Right, a short par four, but very, very tight. I wonder what I would have done back in the day on a hole like this. Well. I know what I would have done, I would have hit driver. So instead of me hitting my usual hybrid up here, I'm going to hit my three wood. And that should go about the same distance as my old driver would have gone back in the day. Well, back in the day, I would have tried to have hit my driver as far as I could. But if you look at this hole, it gets tighter the further you hit it. It really isn't a good choice when you're trying to break 90. Especially on the right there, there is a water hazard. And I've ended up quite close to it, no more than 12 paces away. Plus I'm on an upslope, which adds loft, which makes this pitch a lot harder than if I'd been further away. But these are the kind of mistakes I made all those years ago, because I didn't have a golfing brain. So do yourself a favour and actually try and avoid putting yourself in places that I'm putting myself in deliberately because this is how I used to play. 
and chipping up is always difficult. It's so hard to judge. And I judged it poorly. Breaking 90, you gotta make some pars. You gotta take advantage of the easy holes. I've just started back on 10, 11, 12, and I simply haven't done that. I'm making it very difficult for myself. Take this 12th I've just played. I would have been so much better off further back on a flat lie rather than on that steep upslope. Hitting a 9 iron in. I'd have found this green then. But on that upslope with loft in my hand. So, so difficult. Well, the setup here is slightly better. I'm still aiming too far left. That's something I'm going to have to fix. But the result is a lot better. So on the shortest path three on the golf course, we've got to take advantage of that and find a par. You do need more pars to break 90. But if we can avoid all of the doubles, the lost ball, the out of bounds, in the trees, in bunkers, then we stand a much better chance of doing it. You don't have to improve your game so much if you can get the ball round. Now the two par fives here at the Herefordshire aren't gimme par fives. This one is very long, it's very undulating. And because I'm a short hitter, I haven't got it up. I haven't got it up on top. Hybrid here, out of the rough. I'm not looking to hit it as far as I can. I'm looking to hit it as well as I can and as straight as I can. That's all you can do out of the rough like that. I guessed at a yardage. I think I'm wrong because I finally hit a decent shot. And when you're this close, you do have to take advantage of that opportunity to break 90. You cannot afford to do what I'm about to do. Another relatively short par 3, another hole we need to take advantage of. If only I had a golf swing and some anger management Come lessons. On. Now this is the lowest part of the course, it is the softest green after all the rain we've had. And it is quite bumpy. And it's hard to adjust to that. That first bounce was soft, it didn't release, oh dear. Oh come on, come on man! Well at least all this is proving a point. When your short game isn't working, it puts immense pressure on your long game. You've got to hit it longer, you've got to hit it straighter, you've got to hit it closer. Huge, huge pressure. When your short game works, you don't need to. You look at Jordan Spieth, when his putter's working, his long game is smooth and nice and down the fairway. When his putter isn't working, his long game's in the rough, it's in the trees, it's in the bunkers. It's atrocious. He turns into a four handicap when his putter's not working. When his putter works, he wins majors. Three holes to go, and I'm really struggling. Really struggling here. The second part five, not very long, but it's uphill all the way, so it plays a good four or five clubs longer than its length. 
A three wood isn't a bad choice anyway because it's so narrow. Now the hybrid. Now the hybrids really are a gift to us over long irons. The shape of the club will get through this rough a lot better. Get more ball, straighter, some height on it and something more usable. Then you have to club yourself correctly. One club up the hill and one club for being on the upslope which is adding loft. So I've come out with a 7 iron for 121 yards although that 121 is a guess seeing as I have no ranging equipment. And there's an awful lot of muttering going on here so um, yeah. I'm really feeling it, I must admit. This is, this is very strange for me to have eight shots over nine holes and to be feeling under this much pressure because my game is so bad. But you've got to keep fighting through it. Keep concentrating. Keep this ball in play no matter what. Even though I made a mess, I have to keep this ball in play. That's how we break 90. 17 is on a temp. And I've used the bottom groove. Who says these modern clubs are easy to hit? I'm guessing at an A iron. Horrible lie in the rough. I didn't even make the fairway. But we've got a shot on this hole. Such a bad lie. You know, this is a disaster. Oh, a but it's not a disaster because we're still on that target. All we've got to do is keep concentrating. Not get too upset, too disappointed in what we're doing. And keep that score ticking over. Never give up. Last hole. Now what would I have done here back in the day? Well I would have hit my driver, not my hybrid. So I'll go with the three wood, you know, my driver equivalent of the day. And hope that uh, I can find a putt. I'm really struggling here. It's been so wet the greens are bumpy. Now, if the weather holds, I'll be back tomorrow and we'll have a go at breaking 80, or as this is a par. 70 course, breaking 78. And I don't honestly think I got the game for it. One thing for certain, I need to bring some drink out on the course. I am absolutely parched. Wish me luck. Cheerio. Bloody time, don't you think? <laughs>